Today, I'm going over the new Tesla cold weather best practices. Tesla recently came out with a cold weather best practices notice on their last software update. You can view it in the car or on the company's website. I'll go over it along with some additional suggestions. I'll cover the more important topics on the website and cut away for some specific video on certain sections. Let's go. Before driving, turn on the climate control to warm up the car for 30 to 40 minutes. You can use this in the car or on the app. If you live in a milder area like mine, 10 to 15 minutes works well. If you want to do this on a regular basis, go into the schedule menu and select the time that you want, for example, when you leave for work. On the mobile app, navigate to climate, and then press the defrost car button to melt snow, ice, and frost on the windshield, windows, and mirrors. It also warms the high voltage battery as needed. In addition, you can thaw ice on the charge port latch if you need it to be opened. Warming the battery using scheduled departure or the mobile app can also reduce the charging time at a supercharger. In severe weather conditions, ice buildup within the door handle can prevent the door handle from opening. The process for freeing the Model 3 door handle is slightly different than other door handles. You can usually remove the ice with a few forceful bumps to the door handle using the bottom of your fist. If your vehicle is equipped with black door handles, press the foremost part of the door handle to initially try to release light or moderate ice buildup. Forcefully press the rearmost part of the door handle to try to open the door handle. Working in a circular pattern around the perimeter of the door handle, use the bottom of your fist to forcefully bump the door handle to break and release the ice buildup. Aiming for the rearmost end of the wide part of the door handle, use the bottom of your fist to forcefully bump the door handle. Increase the intensity of the bumps as necessary repeating these steps until the ice is removed and the door handle can be opened. Never bump the vehicle so hard that it can cause a dent. In severe weather conditions, applying WD-40 to the door handle pivot pins can help prevent ice buildup that might immobilize the handle. Consider applying WD-40 to the door handle pivot pins if you're expecting freezing rain, heavy snow, or icy conditions. Reapply as necessary. First, open the door handle and prop it open using a folded towel or other soft material. Then, attach the provided straw to the nozzle of the WD-40 bottle. Put on eye protection. Place the small end of the straw next to the pivot pin and spray it for approximately one second, taking care not to accidentally spray other components. Remove the towel or other soft material used to prop the door handle open. Pivot the handle in and out approximately 10 times. For the second time, place the end of the straw next to the pivot pin and spray it for approximately one second, taking care not to accidentally spray other components. Remove the towel or other soft material used to prop the handle open. Pivot the door handle in and out approximately 10 times. Perform this procedure on the other three door handles. On the mobile app, navigate to Climate Defrost as I mentioned previously. Your vehicle heats the driver and passenger windows to melt ice that could prevent windows from moving. Every winter, I apply weather seal conditioner to help during the cold weather. It will preserve the gaskets and also make it easier to open the doors and windows. I use Nexit rubber care stick. Apply it along the weather seal surface all around the door area. During this video, I only show the top area, but you can apply it to the entire strip that encircles the door. And do this for all four doors. Also, the Model 3 automatically makes a slight adjustment to the position of the windows to make it easier to open doors in cold temperature. 
If ice buildup is expected when parking, turn off auto fold mirrors, which is touch controls, auto fold. Ice can prevent the exterior side mirrors from folding or unfolding. Note that the side mirrors automatically heat as needed during preconditioning or when the rear defroster is turned on. If you expect snow or ice to build up when parked, touch controls, service, wiper service mode. This raises the wipers against the windshield so that they can defrost when the windshield defrosts. Use winter tires to increase traction in snowy or icy conditions. Tire chains provide additional traction when driving in snowy or icy conditions. Check local regulations to determine if tire chains are recommended or required during winter months. Your vehicle's tire pressures will drop in cold ambient temperatures. If the TPMS indicator light appears, inflate the tires before driving. The tires will lose 1 PSI for every 10 degrees Fahrenheit or 6 degrees Celsius drop in outside temperature. Proper tire pressures help protect tires from potholes and improve range when properly inflated. Regenerative braking can be limited if the battery is too cold. As you continue to drive, the battery warms up and regenerative power increases. A blue snowflake icon appears on your touchscreen when some of the stored energy in the battery is unavailable because the battery is cold. This portion of unavailable energy displays in blue on the battery meter. Regenerative braking acceleration, and charging rates may be limited. The snowflake icon no longer displays when the battery is sufficiently warm. By using Trip Planner to navigate to a supercharger, the Model 3 preheats the battery to ensure when you arrive at the supercharger, the battery temperature is optimal and ready to charge. This reduces the amount of time that you need to charge. To ensure optimal autopilot performance, keep these sensors and radar, if equipped, free of snow, ice, mud, and dirt. So do a quick check on the front cameras, the side rear-facing cameras, the side front-facing cameras, and the rear camera. Scheduled departure was mentioned in the beginning. If your charge port latch freezes in place and a charging cable becomes stuck in the charge port, try manually releasing the charge cable. Open the trunk and look at the left side of the interior near the LED light. You will see a hole big enough to fit your fingers through. I'll adjust the camera location so you can see how it works. Inside the opening, grab the plastic piece, which will allow you to pull the manual release cable. Now the charge handle can be removed if it is locked in place. This is also handy in other situations when charging with a J1772 adapter, which sometimes can get stuck. Use the mobile app to precondition your vehicle to help thaw ice on the charge port latch so that the charge cable can be removed or inserted. One thing that may help is to use a quart or gallon Ziploc bag of hot water to melt any ice on the surface that preconditioning doesn't get. If you leave your Model 3 parked for an extended period of time, plug the vehicle into a charger to prevent normal range loss and to keep the battery at an optimal temperature. Your vehicle is safe to stay plugged in for any length of time. When not in use, Model 3 enters a sleep mode to conserve energy. Reduce the number of times you check your vehicle's status on the mobile app, as this automatically wakes up your vehicle and starts normal energy consumption. If I was away for a couple weeks or more, I would leave the charging max percentage at 50% for the older standard range and long range battery pack with nickel, cobalt, aluminum, or NCA. For the newer standard range with lithium iron phosphate or LFP battery pack, I would keep it higher, say 100%, due to the chemistry of the battery cells. 
Well, that wraps up my video covering Tesla's cold weather best practices. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.